Welcome to the whole out method. The best way to read greens. If you could take a water bottle to the green, would you do it? I would. If you look at this water bottle, the right side water level is lower than the left. Clearly the right side of the water bottle is high. How high? It depends on the slope of the water because the bottle follows the terrain. But you can't take that to the green because it's not legal. So, would you take a true plum bob to the green? I got a little bit of wind, but I would take one to the green, absolutely. This is pointing at the center of the earth. But what do you do with it? If you had it, what would you do with it? And what I would say, the whole out method says, is check the string to the ellipse of the cup. And you can clearly see the ellipse of the cup is lower on the left than it is on the right compared to something that's dead vertical. You can check it from both sides. Now the ellipse is higher on the right, or the angularity is less than 90 degrees from the string. Sorry about the blowing, but it is what it is. So, you can't take a plumb bob to the green, but you can take your putter. So let's take the putter. Here's the putter. Most people say, hey, point the putter head to the hole and hang it up, like that problem is if you look at that putter shaft there's nothing parallel about that shaft and that string because a putter doesn't hang plumb there's nothing plumb about a putter but if I slowly rotate my putter and I know where my spot is my spots right there that putter edge is dead parallel to that string a true plumb bob now I could take that putter edge and check it to the slope of the hole which we obviously know that that's gonna break right to left based upon the angularity of the ellipse to a vertical known entity, in this case, putter shaft. In fact, the right edge of this putter is not even parallel to the string because the putter shaft is cone shaped. We're talking perfection. It's very easy to get a perfect vertical edge that you can use. So I can look at this and go, I think it's gonna break probably about a foot and a half over this 15 footer. Let's get back and find out. This will be take one. If I wanted to use aim point, I would use my fingers to pick the spot outside the hole. No way. All right, I swear to God, that was take one. The hole out method works. It's very easy. Anybody can do it. Just get 20 feet back, even on a three foot putt, check the ellipse of the hole, versus a known entity, which is a calibrated putter. You must calibrate your putter and find it. Holeout.com, check it out, you'll play better.